So at long last, Stitch has made his final Great Escape, as the attraction Stitch's Great Escape at the Magic Kingdom is going to be going away for good this time around, but we'll discuss exactly why that's the case up next. Hi there, Waltoners. I'm Jack, and this is, of course, DSY Newscast. And go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel. Hit that notification icon so that you always receive an update whenever I release new videos. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. As on November 16th, 2004, Stitch's Great Escape opened to mixed reviews and instantly became one of the most divisive attractions in the history of the Disney parks, as its opening campaign saw Stitch take over the Magic Kingdom and supposedly toilet paper the park's iconic Cinderella castle. But putting that highly questionable marketing decision to one side, there are two reasons for why Stitch's Great Escape has still remained divisive to this day. The first being the misunderstanding that people like the mischievous antics of Bad Stitch, which are his only personality traits and characteristics within the attraction. Whereas, in actual fact, Stitch is undeniably one of the most beloved characters of recent times, being so popular that he's supported multiple merchandise lines over the years. But it is the redeemed version of the character of Stitch that is found at the end of Lilo and Stitch that the majority of guests love so much. And so the argument could be made that guests who love Stitch's Great Escape do so because they love that their character has any Disney Park representation. Then the second factor for why Stitch's Great Escape has been disliked is because it replaced what was considered to be Disney's first and only attempt at creating a real scare attraction in extraterrestrial alien encounter which built a cult fan following over its short nine years of operation. But with Stitch's Great Escape, Imagineers have replaced the predecessor's actual suspense and scare factors with a very different attraction, featuring immature gimmicks like Stitch burping a chili dog smell into your face, all whilst being only a moderate reskinning of the previous experience that was there before, which made the loss of Alien Encounter all the more apparent, leading to mixed reactions throughout the years. However, the beginning of the end for this attraction came on September 16th, 2016, only 12 years after its opening, as it was announced that the attraction would be switching from daily operation to seasonal only during peak times. Then on October 2nd, 2017, it was unveiled that the first pre-show hold area had been converted to be used as a meet and greet space, with the attraction signage being replaced to become Stitch's alien encounter character greeting. Although despite all of this, Stitch did manage to stage his final great escape on January 6th. 2018, as the attraction had reopened over the busy holiday period, only to close once again, and was said to be entering seasonal operation. But throughout 2018, rumours began to circulate that the attraction was slowly being dismantled, with ideas for a replacement under consideration later being confirmed by the former Vice President of Magic Kingdom, Dan Cockrell, in May of 2018. However, despite all of that, still no announcement was made about the attraction's future. But then that brings us to today. With this notice of commencement permit filed on March 19th and issued to Walt Disney Imagineering for interior demolition, which if we check the address of this permit on the Reedy Creek Improvement District map, we can see that this permit is for the show building that houses Stitch's Great Escape. So what this permit does confirm is that whatever is remaining of the attraction will surely be demolished, however the building itself will remain intact. But considering that the permit has no expiration date, it means that this demolition can take place at any time in the foreseeable future, meaning that the demolition may or may not be imminent. But now I just want to clear some things up, as there are some blogs out there that are stating that this demolition permit is definitive proof that a Wreck-It Ralph themed attraction is coming to the Magic Kingdom. And to put it simply, that is actually very misleading, as the only facts that we have at the time of this recording is that Stitch's Great Escape will see an interior demolition at some point in the future. And yes, that demolition order is issued to Walt Disney Imagineering and will be carried out by Hall Construction. But there is no mention of what will be replacing this attraction, as yes, there have been rumours that a Wreck-It Ralph inspired attraction may be built in the past, with the concept centred around an interactive Sugar Rush game simulator, where the existing theatres would have been repurposed. But that Blue Sky concept was originally floated in 2017, based upon the overall response that Ralph Breaks the Internet was to receive in 2018. And so, considering that the sequel only grossed $529 million worldwide, 
it was understood that the rumoured concept was shelved by the end of that year, with no mention of the rumoured concept again throughout 2019 or officially at D23 Expo in August. So to assume that a demolition permit is confirmation that a previously rumoured concept is definitely happening is quite inaccurate. Now of course there's a possibility that Wreck-It Ralph could still be under consideration, but so too could many different characters and intellectual properties be for this valuable show space. Or it could be that because the attraction shares a building with Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe, Star Traders and Merch to Venus, then perhaps the location is being gutted for more backstage space until an eventual attraction concept can be decided upon. Or then again, perhaps a more logical guess would be that it will be repurposed into a larger meet and greet facility within Tomorrowland, expanding upon its current function. However, considering that this is a Walt Disney Imagineering project, it is actually quite promising to know that there will be something that will be coming to this space one day in the future. And the reason for why I say one day is that given the latest financial circumstance that the Walt Disney Company is facing regarding the huge impacts of COVID-19 and the effects of that is having on every facet of the company, then I think it'll be quite a while before we hear more about what this project may become, as Disney already has a substantial financial burden to complete the existing attraction projects, let alone start new ones from scratch. So in an alternate reality without COVID-19 just a few weeks ago, maybe we would have been diving in and discussing a brand new attraction announcement for the 50th anniversary. But for the time being, given the current circumstances, I think it's safer to say that we'll just have to wait and see what happens with the demolition of Stitch's great escape. But now, it's over to you, Walton, as I would like to know if you could imagine here any ride concept centered around any Disney movie or even an original concept and bring that to this space, then what would it be and how would it work? And of course, don't forget to put the timestamp for where the hidden Mickey appeared somewhere in this video along with your suggestion or your comment to be with a chance to win one of these official DSY Newscast enamel pins. And congratulations to this Walton here, here for winning this suggestion from the previous video where we were talking all about the brand new details revealed for or the Avengers Campus. And so that's it for today, so be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel, hit that notification icon so therefore you always receive an update whenever I release new videos, and if you've enjoyed today's video then be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up as it really does help this channel out, and I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon.